Hello everyone. I wanted to uh, wanted to take a few minutes here to go over uh, one of the other indicators that's available with the CFRN indicator set. All right. Um, we're looking right now at a 10,000 contract chart, um, and I'm going to show you indicators that are that are part of the CFRN indicator set, and they're exclusively available through Daniel's Trading on the DT Pro charting platform. All right. Um, the indicator that we're going to look at right now is called the CF. DMT. All right. Now, this particular indicator, you have to click Create New Area because it's a subpanel. All right, and it drops in down here in the subpanel. This particular indicator shows three different things. All right, it shows direction, which is the D, momentum, which is the M, and T, which is the trend. All right. Now, I'll show you. I'll show you exactly how to how to read this indicator. This indicator by itself does not give you trade entries. Um, well, I don't suggest it gives you trade entries, but I do suggest it gives you good directional um, indications. All right. Now, the way that this indicator works, you'll see down here. Here, let me stretch it out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. You'll see down here there are colors. We'll just start out with the colors. All right. This section right here is an envelope. Um, I refer to this as the envelope. The blue lines right here or the red lines over here, I refer to that as the envelope. When it's blue, it's bullish. When it's red, it's bearish. All right. When it's blue, we're looking, we're looking for longs. When it's red, we're looking for shorts. Now, that is the envelope, and that's all there is to the envelope. Really, it's quite simple. Um, this line that, that you see going up and down here is the trend strength line. That is the trend strength line. When it's green and going up, that means you have strong trend strength. Now, because it's going up doesn't mean that it's it's bullish trend strength. Going up means it's strong trend strength. You see over here, it's going up and the envelope is red. That means you have strong bearish trend strength. All right. Going up when the envelope is blue, strong bullish trend strength. All right. When it changes color, that means you're likely to be going into a little choppy area, or and or um, possible trend change area, um, which you know is usually preceded by chop, or it could just be a little consolidation area. All right, um, you can see right here in this particular case it was a consolidation area because we went we went up, strong bullish trend strength, consolidated, 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 then we went back to a blue envelope, then back up, strong bullish trend strength. Right. One of the things to look for with this indicator, and this indicator was originally designed for this for this time frame, for the 10,000 contract time frame. It can be used on other time frames as well, but what it was designed for in this particular time frame um, was to show, to give an overall directional indication. All right, and the trend strength indicator, when it's green, like it is right here, and it pierces the bottom of the envelope. Depending on the range of the day, that generally suggests that you're going to have a five to six point move in that direction. All right, depending on the range of the day. If the range is really tight, then you're probably not going to get five points if you only have a three point range in the day. But you know you'll likely get two points. But on a typical you know range of you know a ten point range day, we'll say, um, you know you usually get a good, a very good strong move if that happens. Usually, of course, it's not the holy grail, but it does happen. It happens more often than not, as I'll say. You can see right here it pierced, um, it pierced the envelope from the bottom. Um, it pierced a red envelope from the bottom, suggesting a strong move down, and we got a move down of three or four points right there. Right here it pierced the blue envelope from the bottom while it was green, suggesting a strong move up, and you can see we got a you know, ten-point move right there. Um, you now, and you'll see that you'll see that over and over again right here. Uh, this is right at the open. Um, it pierced the envelope from the bottom. We got a couple of point move right there. Over here, it pierced the envelope from the bottom. We got, I don't know, what's that, three or four points right after a news event. Um, and I'm not cherry picking anything here. I'm just sliding back and I'm showing you everything. This was pre market right in there, but let's see. Um, you know, on a tight range day, like this one over here, it pierced the bottom right here, and we got, I don't know. That was only about a half a point move. It pulled back and it and it chopped around a little bit. 
Wow, that was really a low volume day. Oh, that's right too. That was the day the CME opened opened late that day. That's that's what happened. That was the day that Chicago got buried in snow. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, that is the CFDMT indicator. Now, if you couple that indicator with some of the other indicators that I've already gone through, you know, we'll start out with uh, the MA1. We'll throw it on there with the MA1. Okay. So you know you have it's piercing the envelope from the bottom here, suggesting you're going to be going up. You have an MA1 that's red, suggesting I'm sorry, it's piercing the bottom of the of the red envelope, suggesting it's going to go down, a strong move down. You have a red MA1 right here. I mean, could you jump in right here with a red MA1 with your stop right on the other side of the MA1? You could, you could. That's not a trade setup that I, that I've identified as a particular one that I do all the time, but that's something that you could do. Um, again, right over here, same thing on the on the blue side, okay. Um, and and you'll see things like this happen all the time, all the time. Right over here, you had a blue envelope, pierce at the bottom. Could you have jumped in right here, anywhere in there, and put your stop right on the other side of the blue MA1 and let it ride? You could. Same thing over here. Put your stop right there and let it ride. These are these are simple things that just jump right out at you all the time when you're looking at the uh, at the charts with the CFR and indicator set. All right. It's really really um it, it's it's not that ambiguous anymore. You know, it takes the ambiguity out of the trading, really. Um, when you put the whole thing together with all the other indicators, we have an actual trade setup that gives you an exact entry, an exact entry to the tick. It gives you the entry. Um, so if you're interested in all this, this stuff is available exclusively, exclusively, sorry, through the DT Pro Charting platform um, and Daniel's Trading. All right, it's best when it's used with other CFR and indicators, but you may have your own indicators that you think would pair up well with this. Um, for more information, go to www.cfrn.net. Thanks.